Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in hey, to everybody. our Voice of Faith <laughs> broadcast. You have both Pastor Jeremy and I tonight, and we're talking about um, just things that we are thankful for, the season of, of thankfulness. You've heard us talk about it. One thing that I do every year is I write down, I, you know, the Holy Spirit helps you to remember sure. the blessings of God in your life, sometimes things that maybe aren't real obvious to you, but He'll speak to you things that are a blessing to your life, things right. that are from God, uh, spiritual blessings from heaven. And so we've been talking about some of those things that are on my list, because I bet they're on your list too, if you uh, have written one or you're going to write one. But we've talked about abundant life, and then we started talking about the Holy Spirit. And we just can't seem to stop talking about the Holy yeah, Spirit. <laughs> well, I mean, this is His time in the yeah. earth. This is His dispensation. And uh, as long as the Holy Spirit's in the earth, the church is thriving. Yes. And uh, yes. when He departs, the church departs as well. Or I should say when the church departs, the yeah. world's in trouble. <laughs> sure, sure. If you think about it, the, the Holy Spirit's still doing a work in the earth by upholding the Word of God, sure. the initial Word, let there be light. <laughs> yeah. Light leaves when the Holy Spirit leaves. But you know, not just what the Holy Spirit's doing in the whole earth, but what He does yeah. in the life of an individual believer. I was yeah, talking, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, that's yeah. what we're talking about. I was talking to my cousin the other day, and we were just talking about um, our family and just how blessed we are for the heritage that we have. We are I'm a fourth generation Pentecostal. I mean, it's I mean, it's just so wonderful to have that heritage and to see my grandmother and my great grandmother sure. and my mom and my dad and my grandfathers and the way that they walked with the Spirit of God, the way he would talk to them. I mean, I think I've shared this before. My my papa, you know, didn't have a an education but yet was very successful in business because he just knew how to walk with the Spirit. Right. You know, he would ask the Holy Spirit, uh, how many two by fours can I get out of those logs over there? And the Holy Spirit would speak back to him and give him a number. And that would be the exact amount of two by fours he would get out of uh, a certain amount of logs. And you know, that was how he ran his sawmill all the way up until the day that he died. He, yeah. he, he just relied on the Holy Spirit. So he is just such a friend to me. I know See, he is, and, and these, he's that real in your life too. These and, old timers, if that's what you want to call them, mm -hmm. they had a reliance and yeah. a relationship with the person of the Holy Spirit. And it, it's, it's almost like, I know I'm second generation Pentecostal and we grew up and we've seen all the weirdness too. And so there was, there's a lot of people that because of what they seen and experienced, there was almost a, a shame or mm -hmm. ashamed of it where they put the Holy Spirit off in a back room. Listen, there's more weirdness in circles that don't even invite the Holy Spirit. Sure. <laughs> You're going to have weirdness in every circle. You have a little wildfire, like Brother Hagin used to say, I'd rather have a little wildfire than no fire at all. But I think people have backed off because they seen flesh. That's mm -hmm. what it was. There's a difference between flesh and the Holy Spirit. And I tell you what makes the difference is you having a relationship with yeah. the Holy yeah. Spirit as a person. Knowing Him. Like, you know, just like the other day I was I was driving around, had to do some things and but there were just some things on my heart and you know, I was just praying while I was in my car. And you know, just you said something earlier in one of the earlier episodes about how the Holy Spirit, you know, He's invisible. He's invisible to me, but He's still so real. It's like the Holy yeah. Spirit was in my car with me, talking to me and helping me to see things. And so I think that is the key here is that to really understand what we're talking about and to appreciate the right. Holy Spirit, sure. you have to have a relationship with Him. And that's what Jesus intended when He told His disciples, I'm leaving but I'm sending the Holy Spirit to you because I right. know you, you need Him. Jesus walked this earth as a man, 100% man, 100% God, but He identified with our lives and He knew the things that we would need. He knew that we would need encouragement. He knew that we would need strength. He knew that we would need guidance sure, yeah. and help with our lives and to make decisions and 
to know mm -hmm. what to do and how to do them. And so he sent the Holy Spirit for that reason yeah. to be a help in our lives. Yeah. And, and, and two, and this really gets us into where we're headed with today's broadcast. Jesus knew it was so valuable, important for the church to start uh, the birth of the church to start with the outpouring of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. that he said, before you do anything, I want you to tarry in Jerusalem mm -hmm. and be endued with power from on high. And then Acts chapter 2 tells us that they were in one accord, they were in one place, they were in that upper room. Suddenly there came a sound like a rushing mighty wind from heaven came in. And then the initial evidence of the outpouring that took place in the church was that cloven tongues sat upon them like fire. Mm -hmm. And they all began to speak in Amen. other tongues. And that's, I think that kind of brings us into what we're talking about. I'm thankful today that I have a prayer language yes. where I speak in other tongues. Yes. And can and, and can pray on another level. Sure. You know, sure. and that happened initially, mm -hmm. but my initial experience and relationship introduction with the Holy Spirit happened and I got filled with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and spoke with other tongues. And that's like the gateway sure. to a greater, broader experience and relationship, not just with the gifts of the Spirit, but with the person of the Holy Spirit. Right. Because the more now that I pray in other tongues, the broader my relationship uh, with the Holy Spirit is, and the more clearly I see into the realm that my natural eyes can't see into. Yeah. And that's where He flows. That's where the Spirit of God it's, flows. It's almost like that's how you tune in. You yeah. know, um, I had a, my first car, my radio was not digital. You know, now all the cars just about are, are you digital. Turn the dial. You know, yeah. but we had to actually turn the dial and, and tune in to a station. Right. You know, and, um, you know, back in Oklahoma, it was real, it was common, you know, as you're, if you go any, like on a long journey, sure. you know, after a while of listening to that radio station, it starts to get staticky and you're getting out of range and, and pretty soon you're going to find another station <laughs> because that one's out of range right. now. So you, you have to like tune in to hear the station clearly. Well, mm -hmm. I think, I think that's how it is in our world today. There's a lot of static. There's a lot of things to look at. There's a lot of things happening, just a lot of movement, a lot of chatter. Yeah. And when you pray in the spirit, I find this for my life. When I pray in, the, in other tongues, that's why I'm so thankful for my prayer language because yeah. there's things that you see in the scriptures that, 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 that benefits you when you pray in other tongues. But one of the things that it does for me is it just helps me to tune in to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. It really does to where that clarity, like you were yeah. talking about, just you clearly hear or yeah. you clearly see something that maybe you're struggling and trying to hear or yeah. struggling yeah. and trying to see, but you just spend a little bit of time yeah. praying in other tongues well, and all that static yeah. leaves and you're able to tune in and you, hear clearly. You talk about being tuned in. Uh, a lot of people, especially today in the church, are so tuned in. That, that's such good. That just went off on the inside of me. They're tuned in to their flesh, mm -hmm. to where they're so their their flesh is leading them and guiding them, and right. they're moved by certain things. And unbelief is at a high level in the church. Mm -hmm. You talk about a pandemic. There's a that's pandemic the of unbelief right now. <laughs> that's the truth. Especially, you know, even in faith churches, there's a pandemic of unbelief it's because our flesh is in tune with the the realm of the natural. But when you pray in other tongues, it tunes you into the unseen realm. Amen. Where you can't see in the natural eye what's going on in the God realm. And I, it reminded me of this scripture in the book of Acts. It said they begin to speak in other tongues and magnify God. Mm -hmm. When you pray in other tongues, it magnifies the God realm. Yes, that's good. You begin to see into the God realm things that you couldn't see in the flesh realm. Good. If you're tuned into the flesh realm, you you won't be, you won't see with clarity what God's wanting to do in your life, yeah. or where, where God's wanting to take you, or or lead you, or guide you. And that's why we have a lot of. Uh, someone was telling me the other day, I see the, these little things in my eyes floating, floaters. <laughs> well, that's what pe people are just kind of like floating in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. They've got no clarity, no direction. They're not moving 
with accuracy in the things of the Spirit. And what's helped me uh, really suppress the, the flesh. Mm-hmm. You know, the Bible says, <laughs> by the Spirit we mortify the deeds of the flesh. Right. What's helped me really suppress sometimes that, even the appetite, is just spending time praying in other tongues. Isn't that the truth? Boy, I'll tell you, you just spend time doing that. You begin to magnify what the flesh can't magnify. Mm-hmm. The flesh doesn't magnify God. The flesh magnifies your problems and, right. and what, what your flesh can feel and, and taste and touch, mm-hmm. all these things. Uh, but the Spirit magnifies God. Amen. Praying in other tongues magnifies God. I think that just puts you over in life. I mean, you think about the Apostle Paul and what he said. He said, I thank my God yeah. that I speak in tongues more than you all. Yeah. And look at the things he faced and look at the victorious life he lived and the things that he saw in the Spirit. Yeah. The things he saw in the Spirit, I don't think he would have seen like he did if he wasn't one right. that prayed in other tongues. Well, I think that's a great in, in, example in for us. In a magnifying us. glass, like these, these uh, reading glasses, mm-hmm. they magnify things so that you can see what you can't see without them. Mm-hmm. The, Holy, the Holy Ghost will enable you to see through magnification, mm-hmm. what you normally couldn't see in the natural. That's really good. And you're not a natural person. That's why there has to be a dependency upon the Holy Spirit. So if I'm going to depend on Him to magnify and reveal and for me to see certain things in the God realm, then I need to spend more time praying in other tongues because it's almost like it navigates me in the Spirit, clarifies mm-hmm. things. And, and with accuracy, what, what we're trying to say here is with accuracy, you can walk out the plan of God, I guess. Mm-hmm. And then when you walk it out, you turn around and think, man, I'd have never walked in that if it wasn't for the Holy Ghost. So Holy right. Ghost, I'm thankful for you today. Amen. Well, that really speaks to me. I don't know if that <laughs> yeah. really speaks to you. Sure. That, I, I pray it speaks to you like it's speaking to me. I need to pray more. Yeah. And I pray a lot in other tongues, but I just, I don't know, just that, that I'm just compelled in yeah. my heart to just pray just pray and pray and pray more. Well, and you know, he tongues. says when when we pray in the spirit, we build ourselves up mm-hmm. or we charge ourselves up on our most holy faith. How do we live? The just live by faith. Mm-hmm. And obviously in this scripture, uh, I think it's found in Jude over there, is it verse six or mm-hmm. wherever that's at, where he says, build yourself up on your most holy faith, praying in the Spirit. Mm-hmm. Praying in the Holy Obviously, Christ. we see cooperation with the person of the Holy Spirit through prayer, building us up on our most holy faith. He's helping us in our faith life. Mm-hmm. He's helping us in our faith walk. Everything we do, we do by faith. Sure. We live by faith. The Holy Ghost wants to help you with that. He's awesome. How does He help? He's by awesome. you yielding to other tongues. Yeah. It's just another way. Then you can edify yourself. Yeah. You can build yourself up. You can strengthen your inner man by mm-hmm. praying in the Holy Ghost. So many uh, blessings come because of praying in other tongues. Amen. So today, say out loud, I'm thankful that I have the gift of the Spirit, the Amen. gift of the Holy Ghost. I pray in other tongues and I thank you for that. Because in the middle of a natural wor- world, in a dark world, I have magnification into yeah. another realm that supersedes the realm of the flesh. Amen. Amen. That's God's really so good. good. Amen. Well, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. And next time, invite somebody to join us tomorrow night. Invite somebody to join us here again. And then join us in one of our live services. We uh, have two campuses, Faith World Church in Marietta, one mm-hmm. in Hemet. And we invite you to come join us on a Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Yeah. Wednesday nights in Murrieta only. We have midweek service at 7 p.m. Yeah. And uh, Don't those, forget are, those to, are great times. Uh, always like and subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Find someone else to subscribe. Uh, let's get the word out that there's a voice of faith that speaks into your home and into your lives so that you'll never be the same again. Amen. Uh, we call you blessed and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of The Voice of Faith. We believe that God is going to do some amazing things in your life. And before you go, we always want to give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. The different ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, we would love to pray with you. Just email, message, or call the church.
Thank you so much for watching today. Here are some announcements so that you can see what's going on at Faith World Church. Have a blessed week. Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Casey and these are your church announcements. We are so excited about our next All Call Tour outreach. Students and their families from all over the valley will be attending this powerful event hosted by our church. Every household will receive a turkey, there will be prizes, music, and the gospel will be preached, giving these students and their family the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord. We need everybody to volunteer. Signups are at the info card. It's gonna be an awesome day of evangelism that you don't wanna miss. Thank you so much for being with us today and have a blessed week.